invited uh, two special man of God. Amen? We invited two special man of God. Um, uh, my friends, well, I, I would love to think so, but uh, they are my friends and uh, my peers in the Aldershot churches uh, together. So we have invited them to come and exhort us all and to pray for us all. Amen? So uh, I, would, I, will allow, I will let them tell something more about themselves, how much they want to, to reveal or introduce about them. But just to give us an overview, our first uh, uh, guest minister this afternoon is no other than the most reverend Alwin Pereira, the vicar of uh, St. Michael the Archangel Church, of which we are very privileged and honor that uh, they have allowed us, they have allowed this beautiful place as uh, our worship place for the last two years now. So uh, let us uh, welcome uh, Vicar Alwin. Thank you very much. One, two. Alam kong Dios magagawa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I'm glad someone's got the interpretation of that. I just spoke that in tongues. Is that right? What is it? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> yes, hallelujah. God will make a way. Um, right, okay, how long have I got? Uh, I'm Anglican, so it's two minutes at most. <laughs> anyway, I've got to tell you something. Uh, it's really brilliant to be here uh, to celebrate your seventh birthday. Now, something, uh, uh, some of you may know that at the beginning, just a couple of months ago in April, I had to go to America because my auntie died. And it was a shocking time for me, really. It was, I was not expecting it. And I had to go and uh, identify the body. But about two weeks before she died, I was on the phone with her. And she said, I've got to tell you something. Something really exciting, Orwin. You won't believe it. You won't believe what it is that I found out. And I said, yeah, what could it be? And I was thinking, now what could it be? Could it be that she's, she's found me some amazing uh, legacy that I've not even considered and thought about? Maybe she's thinking that my mind went on to thinking about money, and then I thought, maybe not. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's food related, because you can look at me. You can say, I know that he looks like Adonis. He's a well-proportioned person, but clearly... Uh, clearly, he likes food, and I thought it must be something new recipe or something. And she said, "And I'm waiting eagerly." And she said, "Guess what? I found out that we are related to the Filipinos." Oh. Okay. And, and I said, what? what? How? How is that? How is that possible? And she said, no, because some of the words are exactly similar to what we speak. But I found out that in the 17th century, some of our family were missionaries and went to the Philippines. And they went there and never came back. They enjoyed it so much that they stayed and never came back. But they remained there. So, so it's re there was an incredible link that I did not know uh, we had with uh, Filipinos, uh, with all of you Filipinos. But it's um, not only have I asked Hector many times to give me some physiotherapy on the cheap uh, private consultations here before church, but it also... Uh, it also, for me, having Christ is our rock church here at St. Michael's is something about spreading the unity of the gospel. And it's something so beautiful because every Sunday, you guys fill this place with the aroma of God, with your worship and your prayers... 
so that on Monday morning our kids can come in, the play school can come in, and that lasts for the whole week, and then I can enjoy that on the Sunday morning for you. It's almost like we're the warm-up act for the actual, no, no, really, but we're the warm-up. But the good thing is we are brothers and sisters in Christ. We're part of the same family, and I love the fact that you are using this building and that you are in here, and it's such a blessing for us all. Um, but what I want to tell you is it's seven years. Seven is an important number. And seven is the year of the Jubilee, as you know. It's the time when everything is poured out in abundance. All debts are cancelled. And as I was praying, that's what I felt God saying is that you had been promoted to a, an area. You'd been promoted in the spiritual realm that he'd called you and he'd promoted this church and this fellowship and you as a, uh, a family of God's family in Christ the Rock that he had put you through what was natural promotion. It could only be uh, something that would be natural for you to be promoted. And by that, what I saw was a whole number of missions coming out, a whole number of ministries that are here and gifts that have been placed within you. And we see them. We see the joy, the exuberant joy of worship and praise of that intimate relationship with God. We see with the singing, with the music, with the hospitality, with the giving, with all of these characteristics and the goodness, the care that you bring, there is so much care which is part of God's character. And you have demonstrated that and lived that. But what he was saying to me for this season, Hector, and for you, Christ is our rock church, is that that season of natural promotion is changing. Because in this next season, it is the season of deep preparation. It's the season where you will be exercising and learning and developing and growing in those gifts in a much stronger and a much more powerful ministry. Because what I felt God saying is, you may be small, you may think you're small, but you are big in his kingdom. But what he is doing with you in this preparation is weaving and joining like an enormous net. He's weaving and joining with all the churches here in Aldershot, of which you are part and you are very much involved, and a net that is going to bring in a shoal, a whole number of fish. And... Now, I don't know, if you caught fish, what would you do with it? <laughs> I'm sure it tastes very nice. <laughs> but this is the preparation, that this season is one of preparation, of where you will learn how you're going to be working and ministering together as part of the body of Christ in this town. This is a, going to be a, a fruitful time, but it is time of preparation, as I say. So you face new challenges. And I felt God saying that as part of that, part of a uh, setting you on the road, setting you on this path of preparation, there would be a sign of increased giving, that your coffers would be filled, which will give you, your barns as it were, will be filled and it will be a time in which you go out and you create and you, you use that in times of preparation. Now, as you know, we're facing an election next week uh, on Thursday. But there is something, the one characteristic the strongest gift that you have, it's the intimacy of God that is there, it is the hospitality, it's the joys I mentioned, it's the community that's there. But there is this one four-lettered word that is so powerful that uh, many psychologists now say that is what is missing in our communities. 
And there is a new book that has come out. It's called The Handbook of Healing and Religion. It's printed by Harvard, third edition from Harvard University, where they have done a 35-year study on what makes a healing community and brings people together. And at the, it showed that those who have religious faith, those who have religious faith are 30% more um, um, statistically valid of having better uh, healthy outcomes. Those who are cr practicing Christians have 30% better outcomes. Those who are part, and children and youth who are part of the Christian community, do not, less than 5%, if they're part of a Christian community, suffer from well-being, mental health, illness, if they're part of a Christian community. They don't suffer from those. The incidence is very low. But as I said, this thing showed up the most important aspect, and it's part of God's personality, part of God's character, I should say. Not, his person, not necessarily his personality. God's character. It's the gift of the Spirit that wherever you guys go, when you pray for people, when you lay hands on us, you will impart this gift with tremendous power on us, on other people. And that gift is the gift of realistic care. Care is the attention to somebody's needs. Care is the physical touch. It's the physical manifestation, practical manifestation of God's love in action. And you have that in abundance. God has given that to you to share, to spread his character. When people encounter this gift in you, the hardest heart will be melted. The hardest heart will be transformed, will be changed because that gift, not of natural ability, but of supernatural Holy Spirit will be touching, releasing people from their brokenness. So what I'd like you to do is to pray for us. I'd like you on your seventh birthday to be praying and releasing that gift for, um, I'm a leader of a church, for other leaders, for those of us from other churches, for you to pray for us and impart this gift to us and that we may work together in unity, in the precious unity as brothers, sisters in Christ in this town of ours. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't remember now. Jesus Christos ang bato? No? My tongue's gone? <laughs> All right. Okay. Can we stand? Let's pray. Hector, come out. If you if you're from another church or from from St Michael's, if you want to come out, will you pray for us? Don't rush. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, church. Let us extend. Did you want to come, come, Steve? And Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Dear Mike, come. To know how uh, we live our dear brother Mike. It's been a great help through the years. Okay, let us pray for them, church. Come on, let's declare to them. Let us declare to them, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you want to pray in tongues, if you want to pray in our own dialect, if you want to pray in your own dialect in tongues, just release, just release, just release that gift of the Holy Spirit, very specific as they have requested, that gift of the Holy Spirit, that manifestation of care in multiplicity of ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father God. We are willing, Lord. We are willing, Lord, and we just release, O oh Father, through the power and gift of your Holy Spirit, that gift of care, O oh God. We release it, Lord. 
And we are willing, O oh Father God, continue to fill the hearts of your servants, of your people, these leaders, O oh Lord God, of the churches and communities, Lord, that you have called them into. In Jesus' name. May the power, may the operation and manifestation that were poured out to the early church on the time of Acts, O oh Lord, be poured out upon them, Lord. Fill their hearts, fill their spirit, fill their soul, O oh Lord. Cause it, O oh God, that whatever that their hands will seek to do, that, Lord, the full nature of your power encompasses it all. We are willing, Father God, from this church, from this community, from Christ is our rock church, O oh God, in spite of us small in number, in spite of us being insignificant, in spite of us having many shortcomings in flow. But Lord, you know our hearts. You know our very desire, O God. You know, O Lord, that we have no other agenda than yours, O Lord. And your Son, Jesus Christ, being the head, we know and we do believe that all this will come on that perfect time, O Lord. So, Father, we just speak blessing. We just speak that gift upon the Park Church, upon the Hope Church, upon St. Michael's Church, O Lord, and upon, um, I cannot name everyone, Lord, but Father, every churches comprising the Aldershot churches together, or even those churches who does not come and sit with us, Lord, unite us all in your name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I pray for you? And um, it's such a big honor to have you here uh, and to bless our church. So thank you very much. Thank you for your humility and your desire to serve in many ways. Uh, I'm going to pray for you as well now. Father God, oh, we love you. We love you. Lord, you have given us every gift. You have given us all the promises and every every way of living godly lives where you've called us to actively participate in your divine life. You invite us into that glorious relationship of Father, Son, and Spirit. Lord, I pray for Christ our rock on this seventh anniversary. We pray for many more years for a flourishing. We pray for uh, you would bless the faithfulness of this church. And we pray and ask for more of your spirit and outpouring that's never been seen before. I pray, Lord, for incredible signs and wonders. We pray, Lord, for the dead to be raised. We pray, Lord, for incredible healings, that there would be no need for hospitals, for uh, wheelchairs, for any crutches, because we see your spirit come and your heaven here in this place in Aldershot. We pray, Lord God, for revival, for a unfathomable revival that has never been seen before. Because there are things, Lord, that you can do that we cannot even imagine. They're beyond our imagination and our belief systems. Because it's you, Lord God, and everything is possible in the name of Christ. We praise you, God. We pray for deliverances, for people to be freed from demonic strongholds and, and possession and afflictions, Lord. Even in just our worship or even our just shadows walking down the street, Lord God. We pray for such incredible power and presence. The thing we most hunger most for. We hunger for your spirit and your, your presence, Lord God. Nothing else can satisfy Lord, we are hungry, we are thirsty, and Lord, you're the only one who can satisfy. And we stand together, Lord, as churches, as your family here in Aldershot to say hallelujah 
Let it come, Lord. Let it come, Lord. Pour your spirit, Lord. Come, Lord, come. We welcome you, Lord God. This is your town. It's your place. And this is your time. Hallelujah, Lord. Bless you and thank you for the inspiration that you've given through my brother Hector and through this church of Christ our, is our rock. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.